John, at yeah. this point, I would like to ask you if you would emphasize for me or for us a little bit how Gestalt coaching and therapy is different, because it's always a very sophisticated point of the work. Indeed, indeed. Well, having been um, a Gestalt therapist for half of my career and now uh, working in organizations for the other half, I I'm fairly well positioned to talk you know, from from both sides. Um, so fundamentally, uh, therapy is, and actually I understand, means healing. We are trying to um, get a resolution to the painful experiences in our past. So the traumas, uh, the, the, the painful, especially childhood relationships, and if we can find a resolution to those in the past or that are in the present but, but created in the past, then we uh, make an easier transition or we make, make an easier move into the present and the future. Well, coaching uh, doesn't have the time, doesn't have the focus, doesn't have the quality of relationship that, that allows for that depth of exploration so in a strange way, this is where Gestalt works quite well because it's about taking that history that is there, that legacy that sits with us and saying, so if you've got that, how can we use it to move forward? How can you learn from that terrible experience that we can't resolve because we don't have the time or the relationship? But how can we move forward um, with that experience? and without ignoring it, without denying it, but without having to resolve it. And that fits so well with the, the fundamentals of Gestalt is just being aware of who you are now. <clears throat> and in this, that awareness, the change, some of the change happens, and then helping the, the client, the coaching client, to move forward with those difficult relationships. So if, if, they've had a, if they're having a, a painful um, or difficult experience with their boss, they may identify that as a, an early relationship reminder of their father that they're having difficulty with. In therapy, of course, we go and deal with the uh, relationship with their father. But in coaching, we say, okay, now you're aware that how can we see the difference between your boss and your father and your reactions to your boss as coming from that and how can we find a different way of differentiating and coming into the present and seeing your boss as separate and not as a transferential or projection um, of your father. So that, that's the, the work that we would do in, in coaching. Um, and sometimes it really is impossible to do that work because the past is so overwhelming. And then I recommend that the the coachee goes for therapy because they they can't ov overcome that. But but that's fundamentally the difference that we're moving forward in coaching and we're uh, you, trying to heal mm -hmm. those elements of the past. Mm 